So, Professor Liu is going to teach you Chapter Five. A concept is decision. Make a decision. The first structure is if-else structure, and the if-else structure for the Java you do if and condition and statement inside. So there's a if this meet this statement, then you do this. Statement. If meet this condition, you do this statement. If doesn't meet this condition, you do this statement. The thing is, um, uh, for Java, you can only put one statement, one, one statement. Okay, uh, in in between in the if or else statement. If you have two statement, you must put parentheses. All right. Now another very very important thing many students make mistake is you cannot have semicolon after if here. So here, if you put the semicolon, you are going to get error message. You cannot do anything. Okay. Now let me ask a question right now. See who can、uh, answer this. Okay. So on the if and else statement. When I meet the condition here, how many statement? How many statement I can put here? How many statement? What? More than one. If that's more than David, very good. If that's more than one, I must put braces. Okay. If more than one, I must put braces. All right. So remember that, and don't put semicolon after if. Okay. Now, next thing is this. This is a condition. This is called condition. Let's learn this. Inside the parentheses, this is called condition. Okay, this is a condition. So inside the condition here, we can only use comparing. We are we use a com you know compare is is compare so relational. These are the uh com. Relational operator to use to compare. Okay, so math is this way, Java is this way. The rest of them probably the same, not too much because we don't type this in the keyboard anyway. So it's less equal, greater equal. The thing different is equal. Equal for Java is equal equal. Not equal is exclamation equal. This one is. Different, okay. So let me see who has a、uh, ah.、Uh, let let's see this ah、uh, table right there. How many how many relational operators in Java we can use to compare value? How many relational operate six? Very good, very good. So. Most of them are from your mathematic. The one is different. Equal. Equal in Java. Equal in Java. What's the operator you use? How do you do equal? Equal. Yes. Okay. Not equal in Java. Is what? How do you do not equal in Java? Exclamation equal. So this is different. Okay. Now, beside these, we compare number. We also need to look for we compare string. Java work with string a lot, but the thing is, string is not a number. String is not not number. Okay. So when we do string like a name, we don't do string one. If string one. Equal to string two, we cannot use equal equal. Okay, we cannot because that's a. It's just basically string. It doesn't go with this. Doesn't go with this one two three four five six. So this one two three four five six compare is for numbers numbers. Now for the string, there are something else. Okay, number one, you can use da equal. You can do da equal. When you use da equal, you have two answer, true or false. All right, so true or false. 
So now, so if、uh, this equal to that, so let me ask you this right now. So if my、uh, string one, Alright, so if my string one is Shin, string two is Liu. So, and if I ask you to do this,、um, if I say if string one da equal string two, okay, if this, it will return true or false. False. That's right, correct. Okay, so for this, okay, so whatever string one and equals and string two, this will have only two, so two kinds of answer, either equal to or false. Sometimes、uh, we want it to be ignore the case, so string equal ignore. Okay, equal, da、uh, e,、uh, equal, but ignore case. So, this we can ignore the case. Alright, so this is kind of useful, but we can only answer true and false. But, you know, right now, internet, we are in the big data age. In your time, I think 90% of your job will land on. Doing data, big data age. So sometimes we we know they are not equal, but we, we want to know who is the first. We want to sort them. Who is the first? Who is who is you know later? So and we want to see that. So then we are going to use different. It's called compare to. Compare to. When we use a compare to. Then we use something called less lexical、uh, graphic comparison. So lexical graphic comparison, do you remember the ASCII code I asked you to download them? I put it right here too. All right. So basically, we are going to use ASCII code to to to, to compare. So for example, right here, cargo. Okay, so here.、Uh, can anyone tell me right now if I want to compare cargo? This is lowercase. Okay, sorry, this is lowercase. Cargo. So C, they are the same. A, same. Go to R and T right now. Go to R and T. So you tell me, based on the code, what's R's number? Anybody find it for me? R's number, right here. Okay. R's number is what? One one four. That's right. And T. What's the T's number? What's T's number? One one six. So one one four minus one one six. Okay. Sorry. So one one four minus one one six is negative two. All right, is negative two. Sorry, I type wrong. Is negative two. All right. So once is negative two, negative two. So this way, we're not going to compare. We can do the sorting at the same time. Do you understand? So if that's negative, I or I know the the first one number should be come before the second. So I'll put before them and before I actually sort everything. Do you understand? So the when you do compare string, there are two type. One is string one equal to equal. The other one is compare to compare to. All right. 
So when you use compare to, you have three kinds of answer. They are exactly the same as zero. Okay. And if the first one goes before the second one, that's negative number. All right. If first one, the first one is after the second number, that's a positive number. That's a positive number. All right. So let me ask you right now. See who can have a better memory. Okay. When we compare, when we compare numbers, okay, Java compare numbers with six, six relational operator. All right. Now, Java compare strings with two method. All right. Can anyone tell me what two method Java used to compare string? Anybody? Java compare string with two methods. Anybody? Equals. What's another one? Compares to. So compares to is more powerful because compares to allows you to not only know they are equal or not. Also, you can sort them. So, because compare to tell you. So, what happened? What happened if I compare string one compared to string two? I got a negative number. What happened if I got a negative number? Can anyone tell me? When string one compared to string two, I got negative number. So, for example, let me compare this right now. Okay, I'm going to compare cat. And dog. If I compare cat and dog, I should get what kind of number? Negative. If you use compare to, use compare to. What answer I will get? Anybody? Can anybody tell me? C is ninety nine. D is a uh, ninety a hundred. Ninety nine minus a hundred is negative one. Okay, you get negative one. Great job. So you know, cat alphabetic order is before dog. And once you got C, D, you are going to ignore the rest of them. The A and O and G doesn't matter anymore, because when you alphabetic order, uh, when your first name sorting first name last name is the first character only. Is that right? So we are doing this to help you to do the sorting. You understand? All right. So we have. So there are two. One is called equal. One is compare to. So always compare to is more powerful. Not only to let you know they are equal or not, and also let you know that they their order. Okay. So far, okay. So this is very important. We need to know. So far, okay. Now. All right. So next, we want to learn something called conditional operator. All right. The conditional operator is known as the、uh, ternary operator. So these、uh, have three parts. So this operator has three operands and used to evaluate a Boolean expression. The goal of this operator is to decide which value should be assigned to the variable. The operator is written as this right now. Okay. So. We are doing like this. So,、uh, x equal this or not? Put a question mark. Okay. Good. Push. Then if true, we do this. Assign to twenty. Otherwise, assign to thirty. So let's check this one right now. Let's check this one right now. 
A is 10. A is 10. All right. So B, so we don't know B right now. Okay. B is equal. Uh, so let me. Oh. All right. So B is assigned to this. B is assigned. So B is assigned this. So tell me, we're going to do this. All right. So let me have this. Is A equal equal 1? Anybody tell me? No. no. Good job. No. So B should assign to the first number or second number. So B is 30. Right? So B is 30. Now the second one right now. Is A is 10? Is A equal 10? Well, yeah, yeah. So B will assign to the first one. B is assigned to the first one. So B is 20. Understand it right now? All right, so you need to remember. So this will be, this number is assigned to, and this is a condition. This is a, put the condition and put the question mark. And the result, the first one, if two assigned to this one, otherwise assigned to the second one. Do you understand conditional operator? We use a lot. Yes or no? Yes. All right. So it's 10, 18 right now. I am going to give you 10 minutes to study. Is that okay? Let me calculate time. And 10 minutes to take the test. Is that right? So let's have a, a, our first te test at the 1040. All right, so at 1040, you're going to have a first quiz for this material we just told you. It's okay, 1040, it's okay. So I am going to uh, mute myself. It's okay, I'm going to pass recording. The recording has stopped. I'll mute myself and I will stop sharing because I need to set the test. Then at the uh, 1040.